Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. In this video, we're just gonna be quickly going over the Terminal Emulator Kitty. First things first, I would like to thank CraterFace12 for uh, pointing this out to me. I've never heard of it, and uh, so far I'm very, very impressed. So getting right into it, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. So it's just Kitty, and here it is. Now this, it doesn't look like much right now, but there is so much different things you could do. Uh, there's tab management, you could have different windows within this distribution window on the screen, which I'm going to show you all that here in just a sec. Everything that you're going to see here too is completely configurable, including all of these hotkeys and shortcuts, the terminal fonts, just about everything. And you'll see that in just a sec because the actual configuration file for this terminal is over a thousand lines. Now starting off with tabbing, we see this right here. I'm gonna open up a Ranger window just so you can kind of see the controls a little bit easier. We're gonna go ahead and open up a new tab. So all that is is Control Shift T and we have a new tab open. And you can see down here on the bottom, this is my, one of my tabs, this is the other. And switching in between the tabs is really easy. All you do is hold down that Control Shift and then you could use the arrow keys to jump in between your tabs and then control shift Q to close the tab. Now the tabbing thing is really cool, but a lot of terminals do that. What I really like about this is the uh, windows. So if you go control shift enter, you can see it opens up a window within the window right here. And I could open up another one and you can see when I open them up, it's kind of a, a tiling window manager type layout. And you could actually cycle in between various layouts. So if I go uh, shift control L, you can see I'm jumping in between a three column layout, full screen with all the other ones hidden, and back to this uh, kind of stacking three column thing that I like. Now this is really handy for somebody like me. Let's quit out of here. Um, a use case that I would use for this is, for example, going to this window. And you can see I'm using my mouse. You don't actually need to use the mouse. If you hold down control shift and use the uh, brackets, um, you can see the green highlight, I'm actually switching in between the windows with that. You don't need to use your mouse, everything has a hotkey to do whatever you need to do. Uh, but something that I would do is, for example, let's cd into my Hugo directory, cd into Tech Hut, which is, um, I have a video on Hugo if you're interested and that's how I create my the uh, techhut.tv website. So now I'm in there, I would do something like Hugo serve, and now this uh, terminal window is dedicated to serving that server. Terminals that don't support tabbing or uh, windows within itself like this, you would have to have a different uh, terminal window open when all this is controlled in one. And then for example, I could go over here and use this window as the actual terminal I'm using to build the public files. And then I could use this one to like, let's CD into Hugo, CD into Tech Hut, CD into content, so content and ls, and then I could use this to like nano my about ab, about dot markdown, and then I could use this uh, window right here to actually edit files while this serves it, and this is what I'm using to create the actual public files. And this is just one example of a workflow that you could use with this. There's really a lot that you can do with it on top of anything else that you'd expect to be able to do with a normal terminal emulator. Now, one thing I'm gonna show you real quick is if I go ahead and do control, control shift and I hit F2, that quickly opens up the actual configuration file for Kitty in a separate window over here. And from here, you could go ahead and scroll through and see all the different options we have. Um, if I just power down, you could see how many lines of text and how many different options you, there are. Um, and everything's categorized here, so there's like performance tuning, terminal bell, so sound options. Anything you could possibly imagine is customizable. We have scroll back, uh, cursor customization, these are the font customizations. So for example, if I just do a quick edit of, let's say, the font size right here. Let's say we wanted the default font size to be 20. I would just control O to write that out. This is opened up in nano. And then I'm gonna go ahead and close both of these out for now. I'm gonna go back into Kitty and the default font you can see is now set to 20. So that is just an example of a quick edit that we can do. Another cool little feature of the uh, Kitty terminal emulator 
is uh, something they call kittens, which is little programs that are within the actual terminal application. And the one I'm gonna show you real quick is called iCat. So if we go ahead and type kitty plus kitten, so kitten, iCat, and then our image. And so for example, I forgot where the actual image is. So I'm just gonna do shift control, enter, open another window, switch the layout so it's side by side. I'm gonna zoom out on both of these real quick. Uh, let's open this as a ranger. And there it is. So now I'm gonna go over to this window and I know that it is my home directory documents dash and it is the YouTube temp JPEG. This is just a way to open up actual images in your terminal. So YouTube dash temp dot JPG hit enter and then it will display the image in the terminal. And that's just one example. If I go ahead and actually jump over to my uh, Firefox window here, you can see this is what I was just using to open that up. It's just kitty kit and uh, iCat image. If I go back, you can see all the different keyboard shortcuts. These are other keyboard shortcuts. If I scroll up, we have all the keyboard shortcuts for the tabs and windows, scrolling shortcuts. Up here you have their design philosophy. So there's really a lot you could do with this. A lot that really, really goes into it. For example, if I go over here and I go to configuring, it will actually go into detail of what everything does, how to configure it, and how to change that uh, document that you saw me have open earlier. So that is about it. Just a little quick overview of Kitty. I'd recommend you go to their website, check everything you just saw out, uh, play with it a little bit. If you work in the terminal a lot and you're doing things like I do when you have a ranger, you're running Hugo servers and you're using the terminal to actually edit text files, this is a great option. I've had no issues with it so far. I haven't been using it too long. I've been using it for probably uh, five, six hours. But based on my initial impressions, it is wonderful. And um, until something else comes through and seems interesting enough, this will be my go-to terminal emulator. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you also have a wonderful day. Please like this video if you did so. Give it a dislike if you hated it. Again, all the links to everything you just saw will be in the description. Um, subscribe for more content like this. I've been uploading content regularly, regularly, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, have a good day. Goodbye.